that doesn't seem to close. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. I don't want to pick that up. Not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done before the investors arrive. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. Don't tell Chuck, but pink is my favorite color. These Pillow Bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. It's been lipstick to death. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. This must be making that terrible noise. Hey, dude. What's your damage? Yo, dude. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who publishes a zine and... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I've got a fly homie who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who was on MTV and tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa, you're legit. I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock up. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Hey, dude, what's your damage? You can't stop the music! Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick! Who, what do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. 
Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. I'd better hold on to this until later. It's gross, pre-chewed gum. If I'm not careful, it will stick everything in my inventory together. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be abu of service? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, abu. Abu, abu, abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, abu. Unless I get more paper, abu, I won't be able to help you out. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Franklin, um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite, Abu, for you on the fifth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Zappa. Well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's locked. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. I'm not ready yet. 
I've still got to stop that camera from watching. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. It's some blank hotel stationery. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. I can't push that. I can't pull that. It's getting dark out there now. It's turned off. It's turned off. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. The lid of a toilet? Things don't get more amazing than that. I don't want to pick that up. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. I don't want that. Who's the fairest of them all? I don't want to pick that up. Looks like the other painting. Another landscape? I'd rather look out the window. It's getting dark out there now. I can't open that. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. This key card doesn't open this particular room. An ashtray for the smokers. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? Could you use this as photocopying paper? What a great idea, Abu. That will do nicely. To photocopy my prospectus, I need to give him four pages in total. If that's all, I'll get back to my duties. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. 
It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. It's an unplugged TV. I don't want to pick that up. What an amazing view! Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? Here's some more paper for photocopying. That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should go to my room and prepare. The doors are closed. falling off without anything to hold it on. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. 
I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing, no body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Frank Zappa. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with the large nose check into? It was a room on the fifth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge like you have.